Hello, Sweatbox family. It is Mark coming at you solo on this Friday morning. Christine is taking her rest day. We're trying to be good examples for you guys. You should not be working out every day. We want to see you taking those rest days. Give your body time to recover. Give your muscles time to build. That'll let you bring your A game on the days that you do work out. So let's get at it. Today's workout, oh baby. We have got a plank and push-up workout for you today. It's going to be a high intensity. We're going to do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. I promise you, those 30 seconds, they're going to seem shorter and shorter and shorter as we proceed through this workout. We're going to be doing two laps, 10 exercises. I'm going to explain the exercises as we go. So that means we're going to get right into the warm-up. We're not going to need any equipment today. This is going to be pure body weight. Mm, so good. Amazing way to finish off the week. Let's get going. Arm circles forward. Take some big breaths. Start oxygenating that blood. We're going to need it. All righty. Let's take that into reverse arm circles. Everybody having a good week? It's been pretty busy around here. Got lots of stuff brewing. I think you're gonna like it. Alrighty, take those arm circles. We're gonna transition those into upper body trunk rotations. Make sure you're rotating on the balls of those feet, keeping those shoulders high, getting that trunk warmed up. Alrighty, let's go into one last movement. We're just going to do some inchworm walk-outs. All the way up in that plank, hold, pause for a moment, walk back in, stand up. You got this. One last time, out, and back up. You feeling warm? I'm feeling warm. Let's do this. Alrighty, 10 exercises for you today. We are going to be starting with a push-up lateral shuffle. That means we're going to be doing a push-up, move laterally, push-up, shuffle laterally, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. I'll explain the next exercise while we're on break. You guys ready? Let's do this. Alrighty, get in that push-up position. And go. You guys know the regressions by now. If you're not doing these on your feet, you can do these on your knees. I want those elbows back. I want that chest coming all the way to the floor. If you're doing this on your knees, you're gonna come up, move over, push up. Over, push up. You got this. Couple seconds left. And rest. Alrighty. Next exercise, we are going into snow angels. We're going to be prone on the floor. Arms out in front. I want you to squeeze those glutes. Squeeze your back. Bring your heels up. Bring your feet up. Bring your hands up. We're going to be doing snow angels. Palms down at the front. Palms up at the back. Get ready. We've got seven more seconds on break. And then we're doing this. There you go. Get ready. Go. Keep that core tight. I want your butt, your quads, your hams, your back, your abs, all nice and tight. Think about that shoulder blade mobility. I'm inhaling as I'm coming forward, exhaling as I'm coming back, and rest. Alrighty, we're going into round three. Exercise three, exercise four, gonna be the same. We're just gonna switch sides. We're gonna be doing a side plank with rotation. So, I want you up on your elbow, stack beneath your shoulder. I want your top leg out. Gonna keep your hip, your core nice and tight, keep that hip from sagging. If you need to regress and drop to a knee, your lower your uh, lower knee, that is fine. Let's do this. Keep your eyes on your hand. So we're gonna come down, 
reach through and back up. Keeping our eyes on our hand at all times. Really let those obliques kick in. And rest. We're gonna do that same exercise, other side now. Again, your top foot is gonna change. It's gonna be your other foot. Still keeping that elbow underneath your shoulder. I'm gonna come down and rest right now. But when that exercise starts, gonna keep my core tight. Gonna keep my hip from sagging. You guys got five seconds. Let's bring it up and go. I wanna see good form, guys. We're not racing this. It's not a sprint. We are gonna be doing two laps today. If you wanna grab a light dumbbell for round two of this, go right ahead. You can do that on the halftime break. And rest, already. Going into set number five, dive bomber push-ups. Looks like this, feet wide. You're gonna have your butt piked up in the air. You're gonna let your chest drop down to the floor through to Cobra and back. If you wanna come down and transition to your knees for the Cobra part, that's fine. But I want you to start in that pike push-up position. Let's go. Exhale down. Inhale as we're coming back up. Nice work, keep going. Whew. Amazing work everybody, keep it up. We are going into scapular plank up. So think of this as a scapular push up, but we're gonna be in a low plank. So I want your forearms parallel. I want your elbows under your shoulders. We're gonna be dropping down, contracting. And I'm pushing apart with our shoulder blades. Let's go. I'm inhaling down, exhaling up. Couple seconds left. Holy cow, oh, I see what I mean. Those 30 seconds, they're getting faster and faster. Next exercise, we are going into plank walk backs. We are gonna be up in a high plank on our hands and we are just gonna walk our toes as far back as we can. I want you to start with those hands stacked beneath your shoulders. Let's get ready, we're gonna start in a few moments. Get up in that high plank, that's it. Walk those toes back. Doesn't need to be fast. Go as far back as you can. Walk your toes back in until your shoulders are over your hands. Don't race this. You should only be getting two to three reps out of this set. Keep that core nice and tight. Yeah, baby, you got this. Whew. Alrighty, we're almost through round one. We are going into negative push-ups next. With a negative push-up, we are gonna start in a high plank position. I want you to just control your descent till your chest hits the floor. Come on back up to that high plank position and that control that descent. Can do it on your knees as well. Let's go. I'm doing this one on my knees. 
I want you to control that descent. Once you're down, just come back up. All the work here is coming down. It's not about pushing up. That's why it's called a negative push-up. Keep those elbows in. I don't want to see those elbows flaring. Oh. Woo. Alrighty guys, next one. Plank shoulder tap. We've done this a million times in class. I'm just gonna be on a high plank. I want your feet wide. Wider than your mat if you're using one. Keep that core tight. I don't wanna see those hips shifting, all right? You got 10 seconds left. Goal here is we wanna go fast. We wanna have good heart rate here. Let's go. Don't sacrifice form though. Form above all else. Keep that core nice and tight. No wiggling hips today. Focus. The only thing moving should be in your upper body, should be your arms. Everything else should be stationary. Here we are guys. Last exercise of lap one. We are on narrow push-ups. Tricep dominant. I want you to bring those hands together as close together in a diamond position as you can. I want those hands right beneath the center of your chest. Again, form is paramount. I don't care. Hands or knees. Let's just do this. Inhale down. Exhale up. We got this. Awesome work. That was lap one. I'm gonna hit the pause button here. Grab water if you need it. I'm grabbing mine, it's right here. If you want weights for a side plank with rotation, now's the time to get them. Here we go, I'm gonna pause us with 10 second count in. Grab that water, grab those weights if you want them. I'm gonna go grab mine. I'm only going for eight pounds today, nothing crazy. I'm gonna set those down right here. That whole thing, we're gonna do it one more time and then we're gonna be done. What do you say, should we do this? Yeah, let's do this. 10 seconds. We are back at the top of the list. Push up with a lateral shuffle. Get ready. Go. Keep going, don't quit. Three more seconds. Good. All righty, nice job, gang. Reverse snow angels are next. I'm gonna save my talking for these breaks. I want us to focus. Let us get that mind-muscle connection while we're actually doing the working sets. So, a little more than 10 seconds of rest left. Let's get into that prone position. Arms up in front. Remember, we're gonna contract everything. Let's get ready. Go. Less than 10 seconds. Keep that form tight. And rest. Side plank with rotation is next. 
Grab your dumbbell if you want it. Christine doesn't know what she's missing today. Well, she'll know what she's missing once she sees the YouTube video, but she's missing this right now. Alrighty. Start thinking about getting into position. Elbow under your shoulder, top foot in front. Grab that weight, let's go. Eyes on that weight the whole time. Keep going. And rest. Alrighty, swap sides. What are you guys doing this weekend? Drop me a comment, let me know. I don't know what I'm doing. Hopefully the weather's nice, I wanna get outside. The single digit temperatures is not, not working for me right now. Alrighty, we're swapping sides. Get that top foot in front, elbow beneath your shoulder. Let's go. Going right through. Oh, great job, gang. Dive bomber push ups are next. When you know it, still forgot to start my fitness tracker. One of these days I'll get it right. Alrighty, here we go. Hands wide, feet wide. Let's go, dive bomber push-ups. Keep those elbows from flaring. You want to be up on your tippy toes for this one? Ah! Whoo! Have I said it before, guys? Great work. Really good news. We are halfway through our final lap. Five in. We have five to go. Next one, back to those scapular plank cups. So think of it like a scapular push-up. We're retracting those shoulder blades together and down as we're in that plank position. Try that plank on your feet. Regress to that plank on your knees if you have to. Let's go. These scapular push-ups are gonna make us very strong when it comes to regular push-ups and pull-ups and chin-ups. Oh, there they are. Nice work. And then there were three. Plank walkbacks are next. Again, I want you coming only as far back as you can while keeping your core engaged. I want to see a straight line from your shoulders to your hips to your knees. When you're in that plank, start with your shoulders over your hands. That's it, walk back. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe back. Whew, my mat's slipping. Nice job. 
Negative push-ups are next. Again, I'm gonna show you just from the side angle here. If you're doing those negative push-ups on your knees, still want your hips forward, you're gonna control that descent. And once you're down, I don't care how you get back up. I just want you back in that push-up position and I want you to control that descent. That descent should be taking you between three and five seconds. Let's go. Those elbows nice and tight. Oh, saved by the bell. Nice work, people. Plank shoulder taps are next. I want you going wide with your feet or your knees for this one. Again, think of that glass of water. I want you to think of having an open glass sitting right above your tailbone. I don't want that water to spill. Or gin, or vodka, tequila, your choice. Let's get ready. High plank, feet wide, shoulder tap. This is more of a core exercise than anything else. Told you. Planks and push-ups today, people. Planks and push-ups, that's the name of the game. Number 10, or number 20, depending on how you want to count. Narrow push-ups, diamond push-ups, it's all that we got left. I don't want to see you cheating. I don't want to see you cheating yourself. I want to see the best form possible. I want your last set of push-ups to be just as good as your very first set of push-ups. Uh, heart rate's 151. You got this. Single digits. Last one. Woo. Guys, we did it. Give yourselves a hand. That was pretty awesome. Never let it be said that you're going to have long workouts or long rounds in order to get results. I want to show you little rounds like 30-30. This was less than a 20 minute workout. We can make changes, people. Let's take a minute, moment, catch our breaths, and then we'll do a little stretch out here. That was good. Yeah, good for you? It's good. Alrighty, let's start with that upper back stretch. Stretch out those shoulder blades. You know the drill. I want that shoulder low. I want to keep it out of our ears. I want you pulling across mild to moderate tension. Cross that shoulder blade through that shoulder girdle. We hit some triceps today with all those push ups. Let's take that same, same hand, give ourselves a pat on the back. <sighs> Pull backwards again, mild to moderate tension through that tricep. <sighs> Let's shake it out, repeat that stretch on the other side. <sighs> Again, feeling that stretch through our shoulder blades, across our upper back. Bring that elbow back, give ourselves a pat on the back. Alrighty, so either kneeling like I am or standing, I just want your hands on your hips. Big breath in, I want you to look up. 
So the exhale as you drop your chin to your chest. Let's do that again. Big breath up. Hold here, that's it. Amazing, let's do a little chest stretch as well. Let's bring those hands out in front, palms up. We're gonna go as far back as we can. That's it, we wanna feel that stretch through our upper chest. Let's rotate those hands all the way around, palms down, all the way so that the palms are facing behind us, that our thumbs are facing down. Bring those hands as far back and together as you can. And that is it, gang. That is your Friday workout in the books. Beautiful job. We will see you again tomorrow. It'll be back to being the Mark and Chris show. We will see you guys then. We hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday or Saturday or Sunday or Monday or whatever day of the week it is that you're actually watching this. See you guys.